What's up and welcome to Okinawa, Japan. My name's Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today we are taking you on a food tour of this beautiful part of Japan. So Okinawa is a tropical island south of the main islands of Japan. Today we have left the main city of Naha. So as you can see, this is our little cottage we're staying at behind me and also our rental car. And we have a beautiful view of the ocean down there. We are in a place called Motobu and we're gonna do a lot of snacking today so it is breakfast time we are hungry so we want to head to eat some famous Okinawan soba so let's go there right now just pulling into the restaurant now it is beautiful driving here in Okinawa. I definitely recommend you rent a car if you ever do come here. It's just so easy to see all the beauties of this amazing island. We are sitting down now in the restaurant. This is a really cool kind of home style restaurant right on the side of the road. It's kind of a no frill sort of Japanese restaurant. There is some seating on the floor on tatami mats like we are sitting on right now. But then there's also some regular chairs and tables. And we ordered the suki soba from a vending machine as you saw. So that is the famous Okinawan soba with pork spare ribs. We're just waiting for our bowl to arrive. Our bowl of suki soba has arrived, an Okinawan specialty, and this looks absolutely phenomenal. So let me show you what we've got here in our bowl. So we've got the pork spare ribs, you can see there, just these tiny ribs, but we got four big chunks. And then we've got some seaweed kind of tied in a bow tie on top here. And then underneath, we've got those soba wheat noodles, not uh, like some soba where it's buckwheat, this is just regular wheat and these are pretty bouncy and kind of medium thickness and just all in a clear broth. This just looks absolutely beautiful. So let's dig in. Okay, let's try some of these noodles here. Oh yeah, these look awesome. Let's try this. Oh yeah. Oh, those noodles have an amazing texture. They're perfectly firm, super bouncy, and the broth really sticks to those noodles well. It's like a fish stock, and it's very light though, a little bit salty even. So let's try um, one of these, one of these pork spare ribs, bone still in. So let's try that. Mm. Mm. Oh man, oh those are awesome, those are a little bit sweet, almost like the pork belly that we had back in Naha City, it almost tastes like caramelized, and there's little bits of cartilage in there too, so it gives it a little bit of a kind of chewy texture, but the meat itself is extremely tender, and it's soaked up the flavor of that broth as well. Oh, these are awesome noodles. Mm. So there are a couple of condiments on the table here. So let me start with some of this here. This is the pickled ginger, red pickled ginger. Just open that up and let's throw some of that on top. Oh yeah. And there are a couple more things here. We've got some vinegar and I think this is a chili vinegar, homemade chili vinegar. There's little bits of chili flakes floating around in there. So sprinkle that on. Oh yeah always tastes better with a little bit of vinegar. Okay, that should be good. And also some chili flakes here as well. Just put a little bit of that to get the heat level up. All right, that should be good. And that looks beautiful. So let's give that a little bit of a mix here. Oh man, that looks awesome. I'm gonna get some of that ginger with a piece of that seaweed and a noodle. Mmm. Oh, that chili vinegar is awesome. 
that radish is also like a little bit spicy, or that ginger, sorry, is also a little bit spicy. Mm. Oh man, and that seaweed has an amazing texture, very, very firm. Mm, that's good. All right, that was a perfect way to start our day of eating today. Oh man, those noodles were seriously addicting. There's just one woman cooking all of those noodles and that restaurant's quite large and it was completely packed. So definitely go try that place out. We're gonna keep going, go into the little Motobu town and show you guys that and maybe get some fresh sashimi. All right guys, so we've come to a small little village called Motobu. It is beautiful, it's picturesque, it's a little fishing town and they have a local market uh, right behind me actually. And we're gonna try to get some fresh sashimi there. Okinawa is famous for a lot of things and one of those is the bitter melons. So we actually found some just growing out on the street here. So cute. So this is the famous tuna bench and you can see that the tuna's been cut just like it would be in real life. And they made a little bunch out of it, it's really cute. <laughs> Okay, we bought our sashimi from a little stall on the side of the road. This is such a cool little sleepy town and a fishing port, so we definitely wanted to get some fresh fish. So we ordered up some magaro sashimi, some uh, tuna sashimi. Right it. That looks awesome. So let's open this up and try it out. So we're just sitting outside on the grass and let's try this sashimi out. It's very kind of small cut and I'm just gonna put a little bit of soy sauce on there. Let's try that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh man. So soft. Very fresh tasting. It's kind of like naturally oily, but it's extremely soft and just falls apart in your mouth. And then with that soy sauce, it's just a little bit salty. Oh man, that's good. Let's have another bite with a little bit of wasabi this time. And soy. Try that. Mm. Oh, that wasabi is good. Oh, yeah. That is some fresh sashimi. ordered our shaved ice check this out here it is a small mountain of ice and then we ordered the azuki bean the red bean kind so you can see underneath there those azuki beans are hiding and let's just try this get some ice this is another one of those little mom and pop style shops here in Okinawa mm. Mm. Oh, man. Oh, that's nice. That is not too sweet whatsoever. Super cold, refreshing. Those beans are extremely soft. They have them soaking in big buckets back there. I guess that's to make them nice and tender like they are. Oh man, that's awesome. Definitely not too sweet. That is just right. And I couldn't picture anything more I would want today on a hot day in Okinawa. Mm -mm. Final thoughts, well that was absolutely delicious, such a good way to cool off uh, on a hot day, especially here in Okinawa where it is super hot. I really love the concept of the vending machine and that was just absolutely delicious, I can't even finish it, I'm so full. Finished off with our shaved ice, my body temperature is a lot more comfortable now. Ah, that was awesome. We are going to head to probably the most famous attraction in this part of Okinawa, the Chomo Chomori Aquarium. So we're gonna go there now, and then tonight we're going to have a barbecue back at our little house, our little Airbnb. So let's go to the aquarium and show you guys that.
So we are walking around the aquarium. It is absolutely outstanding. The fish are so interesting and there's so many different types and lots of really colorful ones. Big whale sharks, stingrays, sea turtles. Everything has been good besides the fact that it is extremely busy in here. There is a lot of tourists here. Um, kind of pushing and shoving to get the better viewpoint but besides that it's really beautiful it is a Sunday afternoon so maybe if you come on a Monday morning you would have uh, the whole place yourself hopefully Okay guys, we are back at our little Airbnb. We had an amazing time at the aquarium. Definitely recommend you check that out. Tonight we are gonna be actually cooking at home. So we're going to be having a barbecue. So we've uh, been provided a barbecue with this Airbnb, charcoal style. So let's go light it up and then we'll start cooking and you guys can follow us along. Charcoal is going, so we'll leave that for about 30 minutes or so. Get it nice and hot, we'll get the food ready inside and then start grilling up our dinner. So here we have all our ingredients. This just looks so awesome, so let me show you what we got here. Very simple, we've got some salmon, which I just rubbed with a little bit of salt and pepper and some lemon. We've got some cherry tomatoes, some mushrooms, and then two nice steaks, which are also rubbed with salt and pepper, and then some Japanese barbecue sauce. So let's go outside and throw them on the charcoal grill. All right, let's put the meats on, the salmon first. Oh yeah, steak. Listen to that sizzle. This is gonna be good. All right. We added some smaller mushrooms too. Throw those all on. And some tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes. All right, this looks awesome. We will let that cook for a little bit. I'm getting super hungry. So I definitely don't claim to be any sort of a chef whatsoever. I rarely cook because we're always eating street food or we're always eating at some local restaurants. It's really cheap too when you live in Asia to just eat at those small uh, local restaurants. But every chance I get I love to do a barbecue or cook at home and barbecuing I think it's pretty hard to do a really bad job so I'm hoping this is going to turn out good. Check that out, that looks amazing. Oh man, okay, I am totally ready to eat this steak. Finally, our barbecue is done and we have all of our beautiful food here. Let me show you what we've got. So we've got our salmon, which looks amazing with our mushrooms. We also picked up a potato salad at the uh, grocery store. We've got our steaks here, which are looking awesome. Probably a little overcooked, but that's all right. We cooked them slow and then some grilled uh, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes with some other small mushrooms. So let's dig in. Let's start with the salmon and I'm just gonna top it with a little bit of lemon juice. Oh yeah. All right, and let's have a bite of that. That looks like some delicious salmon. Let's try. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh man. Super smoky, a little bit salty, and then sour from that lemon. You can only achieve that flavor cooking it on charcoal. That is amazingly smoky, wow. Let's chase that salmon with one of these grilled cherry tomatoes. Try these. Mmm, mmm. It's like naturally sour and sweet, and a little bit smoky as well. Mmm, that's good. And now for the steak. Let's cut off a piece. This is definitely overcooked. I, I usually like to get my steak medium rare, but this is barbecued, so just cook it slow over kind of a low heat. And let's try that. Mmm. That barbecue sauce has almost caramelized on the outside of that steak. It's definitely not extremely tender, but 
I kind of like it a little bit lean. Super smoky once again. Mmm. It almost has a burnt flavor to it. Wow, that is really, really, really good. And that is not a testament to my cooking ability. Just the ingredients are really high quality. It's very easy to cook on a barbecue. Wow, that is awesome and a perfect way to end our day. So Sabrina and I are going to enjoy the rest of this meal and we hope you enjoyed today's video. This is our last video from Okinawa. Tomorrow we are heading to Fukuoka. So make sure you stay tuned. We are in Japan for another two and a half weeks. We are going to Fukuoka, Osaka, and Kyoto. So make sure you stay tuned for those. We're going to be making a lot of videos and we are super excited to bring them to you. I hope you've been enjoying the Japan series so far. If you have been, make sure to leave a like and let me know any questions you have down in the comment box and subscribe. And if you haven't seen our videos from Okinawa, the links will be down in the description box. And thank you so much for watching this video. My mouth is watering. I'm having a hard time talking. So we'll see you again from Japan very soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye.